Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about Light Probes and Unity's new Adaptive Probe Volumes, or in short, APV. In my previous videos we discussed the real-time lighting and baked lighting, but at this point we can't really merge the two of them. For example, if we have moving objects in a baked environment, then the dynamic objects won't have shadows by the baked light sources. In URP we have two options to fix it, or we can use both at the same time. The two options is Shadow Mask, or light probes. So what are these light mode types because so far we haven't discussed it yet. So we have three options, baked indirect, subtractive and shadow mask. The baked indirect is only baked the indirect lights, the direct lights and the shadows are still real time. This saves the least performance because we are still calculating the lighting in real time. With subtractive option the static objects are fully baked and the dynamic objects are casting shadows on top of them. For a long time in URP these two was the only selectable option, but in the recent URP versions we have a third one, the shadow mask. This is where static objects are fully baked, but dynamic objects shadows are merged with the baked ones. This gives the best result. And also there's the light probes. Light probes bridge the gap between static baked lighting and dynamic real time lighting. As we did before with light baking, we pre-computed the lighting data for the static or non-moving objects, and then we projected it to the textures. However, dynamic objects like moving characters or vehicles cannot utilize this pre-computed information directly as their positions and orientation changes over time. So with this in mind let's get started. First if you check out the directional light at the mode option we have real time, baked and mixed option. So this time we will use mixed lighting. This will enable us to use this light both at the baking on static objects and in real time with dynamic objects. So I set up this simple scene where I placed two blocks for a floor with different colors. This will show us how the reflection from the floor works. As you can see right now with real time lighting there are no bounce light. I also set the directional light to mixed mode and set these environmental objects to static. First I just bake the lighting in the same with subtractive mode. The problem will be much more visible. Once it's done you can see that if I move the character into the shadows it does not apply to it. This is because we don't have any merging between the two types of lighting. This one's only baked and this one's only real time. So what can we do? We can try light probes first. Let's head to the hierarchy, right click, light, light probe group, reset its transform and if you click the edit light probe position you can see the probes. You can move it anywhere you want so just general rule position them in the corners first. Do not position them inside an object because it will make all kinds of artifacts. Then select the ones on the side and duplicate them and move it to the middle where it changes color. Duplicate it again and move it to the other side. Then select these and also duplicate them. Move it close where the shadow hits the floor and duplicate it again and place it behind it. Also we can follow this angled shadow as well if we want. And at the top just position it at the height of our blocks. Now all we need to do is rebake our scene and voila, it works. As you can see there are reflections from the floor and when I move it to the shadow it changes. But as you can see it's not perfect, it doesn't have that straight line at the shadow, it just kind of blends in. Depending on your game, how far you see your character, it might be good enough, but if you need more accurate one, then we have to use the shadow mask option at the lighting mode. Just change the option to shadow mask at the lighting tab, and for demonstration, I disable the light probes and rebake our scene. As you can see, it works much better. You can see that straight line at the shadows, but there are no reflections from the floor now. So to have the best result, we need to use both of them. So I just enable them and bake the scene once again. And it works perfectly. You can see at the shadows, it does not blend together. The engine lets the shadow mask work. But on the reflections it does take its effect. Great, but you could ask, do I really need to place every light probe in my scene one by one? And up until the latest version of Unity the answer would be yes, but recently Unity introduced the APV or Adaptive Probe Volume, which enable us to place these probes automatically. All we need to do at the lighting tab to select the probe volume option at the top, 
we need to enable it in the settings. So select this open button, select the inspector tab and at the lighting, the light probe system needs to be changed to probe volumes. Now head back to the lighting tab and here we can set the minimum spacing, the maximum spacing and the most important thing, make sure you enable the virtual offset. This will help if the probe is in the geometry, it will offset its sampling position and you won't have these artifacts. Make sure you disable real-time global illumination. For some reason it does not work together and will give you an error. Now all you need to do is hit the generate lighting. It will ask to create a probe volume to the scene and select yes option and let it bake. So at this point we can't see any probes but it does work. To visualize the probes we need to enable it in the rendering debugger. You can find it at window, analysis, rendering debugger. Select the probe volume and enable the display probes. And voila, there they are. In my opinion, it is a big hub with an open world scene. But for small scenes, I think you can get a better result with the traditional light probes. But if you don't need the accurate one, just reflections automatically, this is a great feature. Unfortunately, you can't move them as you wish to make it more accurate, but maybe in the future. Who knows? We'll see. So... That's it for this video, I hope you liked it and found it helpful. If so, hit the like button and subscribe to make sure you won't miss my future videos and see you in the next one.